So over the last few years, we've seen this real trend towards software-based playout systems. But one of the areas that still remains very much a hardware-centric solution is that of live master control. But yet the need for master control is even more important nowadays. Broadcasters are looking to monetize their content in a variety of different ways, and they're also looking to centralize live master control operations. So having a very flexible, agile way of doing that is something that there's a real need for in the marketplace. And that's where we come in with AMP. With the AMP master control solution, we really can take all of that hardware that would traditionally be associated with master control and move it into a purely software-based microservices architecture. And having done that, we then give you the flexibility of running that on-premise or in the cloud. And this is not just a basic master control solution. As you can see here, we have all of the kind of high-end features that you would expect from a traditional hardware-based system. So we have up to 16 input channels, we have full control over audio, including individual lip sync on a channel by channel basis. We have six keys, we have DVEs, and so it's a very powerful system. But it doesn't end there because one of the things that broadcasters are finding is that they can increase the value of their content by pushing it out through a variety of different platforms. But if you do that, you probably want to treat them all slightly differently. You may want to give them different graphics or different commercial content. And again, doing that in a live environment gets very expensive. But with the software-based system and the power of AMP, it's as simple as me going into the configuration menu here and basically adding another uh, output. So I'm going to add another one called TX West uh, and save that. And then that will immediately tell the AMP orchestration layer to start up some additional microservices. So now I've got another entire master control chain that's appeared on my screen here and I can now go ahead and reassign those inputs so that input 2 for example or key 1 on output 2 is a completely different source and so now when as an operator I punch key 1 on to put say on a graphic a different graphic might go on on each of my individual outputs. But master control, especially when you move it to the cloud, is more than just this panel. You need an entire ecosystem. And again, we can leverage the power of AMP to achieve that. So if I switch to my GVUI, which is my um, control surface where I can bring together a number of elements onto the same screen, you can see here I've got my master control panel, I've got some clip players, I've got multiviewer, I've got my routing panel, and I can, more importantly, I can see the live video that I'm operating on directly on my user interface here. And this is really one of the groundbreaking problems we've solved with the AMP platform. Because especially if you look to run a live master control chain in the cloud, latency is the one thing that has made this impossible in the past. If I punch a button, I need to see the results straight away. So, for example, I can see here that I'm currently on that clip. I can preset the next clip I want to go to, hit auto transition, and you see it changes straight away. And now I want to cut back again. I just hit cut, and it's started my clip, and I'm away. And so I can basically punch around on my panel here, selecting sources, and I see them change instantly on my screen. Um, so I get that instant feedback that what I'm doing is, is happening in real time. And the really cool thing is, everything that's happening is happening in an AWS data center in Oregon on the west coast of the USA. And I'm in the middle of England on the public internet, sitting at home, controlling this channel. And that's, again, a unique aspect of the AMP platform, because this is a true global multi-user system. So you can put your operators anywhere, you can put your channels anywhere, and you can still control it with a rich user experience like this. Now we have to acknowledge that broadcasters are facing an unusual challenge with the current situation. And this is forcing them to look for innovative technology solutions to stay on air and to do productions when they can't access their physical facilities. And so having a cloud-based solution like AMP is really helping with that problem. So Blizzard Entertainment, for example, came to us a few weeks ago and said, could we help them get three live sports events on air 
without any access to their building. Now we're already working with Blizzard for master control use case, so we had an established cloud instance of this up and running. What we needed to do is very rapidly reconfigure it and add additional microservices so we could do more of a full end-to-end -end production use case. And so we were able to use multiple instances of master control combined with all of the other elements to do things such as create multi-boxes where I can just go to a, a preset source with multiple presenters being fed in over the internet and then very quickly manipulate back to another clip player and play in some video, some audio um, and all the integration with the games and this has enabled them to put three simultaneous live events on air at the same time each one with three virtual control rooms and a total staff of about 50 people all working from home all around America and, and this is probably something that's never been done before and it's all been made possible by the power of the AMP platform. And if you'd like to find out more about the AMP platform and what it could do for your broadcast operation please visit the website. Thank <laughs> you.